that's like the littlest, tiniest little problem. I mm-hmm. don't, me, personally, I don't care if you want to wear your pants around your ankles. As long as you're wearing underwear, I don't give a crap. I'm good. Like, like, that's, right, as long as you ain't flashing me, like, as long as I ain't seeing bare skin, I'm okay. Right, right. Like, as long as I'm not seeing your junk, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, but people, white people are wrapped up in that. Right? Yes, they are. That's one of the biggest things. It's like, they need to pull up their pants. Me, 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 me. It's like, guys, come on. But, I, but also, got some bigger problems. Here. Bigger problem. But what's, but what is the difference? Because it's not really, because it's not proper to walk around with cut off sleeves. Hey, that, you mean, you mean like this? Yeah, yeah, but you're in the house though. But, <laughs> right. you know what I'm but you're not, you know what I mean? Like, is it like, it's so sure. much like, like. It's not, it's not considered proper. Right, right. proper. I mean, so it, it, it so it's so and so it's so it's not so it's not about I don't yeah so <laughs> so it's not about the different type of types. It's about what's proper. It, it's it's about what's not being proper on both sides. Cause, sure, absolutely. No, sir. Absolutely. No, sir. Cause being proper is cause, uh, being proper is not being proper. If you're not proper, you're not proper. I tell you what, I know plenty of like old, old white dudes that don't have an ass anymore. Mm-hmm. And they're <laughs> you look at all the truck drivers we get at work, man. Yeah, I mean, it, oh my god! Man. It's like it's unintentional, right? <laughs> and intentional, it's shy, it, it's so intentional, it's shiny. Like right. you just you just feel bad for them. Like but that's <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, that's you know that's that's another part of separating us white people from you black people, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's the way to get in there and really separate yourself from, you know. But why is that? Another race. But why is that though? That's crazy to me. I don't know. I really don't. What? Know. Where, where did that come from? I. I don't know. I think it, it just comes. People are scared, right? The media is guilty. Uh, the textbooks are guilty. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hollywood's guilty. Yep. Uh, they've. They've portrayed black people in such a bad light mm-hmm. that, you know, they, they can't help but be scared, especially like all the propaganda films from the, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, you know, that kind of stuff that, that people just used to scare white people. And I don't know why society feels like they constantly have to have their boot on the throat of, of you know, just a black teenager not doing anything wrong, walking mm-hmm. down the street, dribbling a basketball. You know why? You know he's probably out causing trouble. No, he's probably coming back from playing basketball. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, that's what he's doing, right? Right. You know, back when, back when uh, the Trayvon Martin murder happened, um, it they essentially justified the shooting because he looked like someone who was up to no good wearing a hoodie. Right. Like that's, mm. that's what. That's a quote. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's quote. That's facts. Quote. Look it up. George mm-hmm. Truman said, he's wearing a hoodie. He must be up to no good. Um, and, of course, you know, that justified his murder. Right. Um, you know, he got off, but why Why is a black person wearing a hoodie scarier than a white person wearing a hoodie? Mm-hmm. But it's crazy because, so, so you're telling me, but... When a white person wear a hoodie, and white people and like like some white people, not all white people, but I'm saying some white people been wearing sure, hoodies, sure, sure, sure. wearing white hoodies. Ain't the KKK or is a hoodie? Like is it, I mean the, the so you telling me? How, so what are we talking about, Tim? You know, I've gone I've gone as far as like like when I'm shopping for when I need a new hoodie, I purposely don't buy white. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just because it, it looks so bad. But what are we uh, talking about? They weren't hoodies. I mean, these people have killed people. And they know this. And they walk around. They have actually killed people. Set churches. Right. Uh, 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 kill people. I mean, burn people. Ha- houses down. While they're in them. Yeah. I mean, they have. Burn churches down. They have committed the most heinous. Cr- top, top tier. Top. Top five, top tier uh, crimes you could in America. Yeah, yeah. 
and they will get you 25 in life no matter what top five. Yeah. An arsonist, you will go to jail for 20 years being an arsonist. Right, absolutely. And you telling me that you walk around and it's all good? Like, what is that? You you want to talk about somebody wearing a hoodie? Talk about the KKKK. And that's not a problem? Yeah, yeah. I mean... It, it, it 100% is. I mean, how's that? But how is... You know, we have, like, a, a broader topic. You know, Trayvon brought up that that whole thing started the roots of the Black Lives Matter, right? And then mm-hmm. it was Michael Brown that really brought mm-hmm. it out. Yeah, bro. Uh-huh. Um, uh, you know, and then you see these pictures on, you know, Facebook and social media. And I, I love and I hate social media. Yeah. It's, I love it. It's a gift and a curse. It's a way to reach out and connect. Mm-hmm. But, man, you see the worst of humanity. And... Uh, when people are posting these pictures of like, you know, hey, check out this footage of, you know, this this black dude, this cop shot, and then everybody's like, oh, well, he told him to he told him to get out of the car, he told him to put his hands up, or he told him to, you know, blah 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 blah. It's like I have a different. I don't experience police the same way you do. Right. Correct. Right. Like mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. Any white person can say this can say this uh, is I, I don't have the same experiences with cops that, that, that black people have had I just don't right whether you know whether or not I, I don't comply or whatever I just I comply because it's you know it's been taught to me that it's a thing to do mm-hmm. um, but and correct me if I'm wrong in most black families and black communities that's not the <laughs> thing to do because you never know if you get pulled over whether or not you're coming home that night. Now it, now it is. Now it now now it's like that now. Now I, sure. I mean I go like man I go below, I go below the speed limit. I mean I like I go with I go I go I, I go below the speed limit. I make sure that my daughter's car seat is 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 like you know what I'm saying like so if a cop. Behind me or beside me, he can see a car seat. Oh, he's not a threat. He has his daughter. He has daughter in there. Like, I'm, like right. I'm telling you now, it's serious. I got. Yeah. I have. I, I have to live out here. That you know what I mean? Like, I don't have a choice to be tough. Like, I I, I have a daughter. I I, I I I can't be tough. Sure. Yeah. Like, I can't be tough. Like, I got a wife and a daughter. I can't be tough. 100%. Like, it is what it is. Like, I am like done. You know what I mean? And that, but. Back in the day, years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it wasn't like this. But now, man, scared. Yeah, it is, man. And I, you know, and we've had this conversation before. Is, you know, we, we both have daughters. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what, Jayla's, what, three now? Yep. Three and a half? Yep. Uh, you know, my girl will be two in January. And Lillian. I've already got to have difficult, tough conversations with her because she is a woman. Mm-hmm. There's, you know, life's not going to be fair for her. She's going to have to work twice as hard. Right, because she's already a woman. Gonna have to, yeah. Right, right. So there's one strike. Mm-hmm. My but two. Now, with your daughter, mm-hmm. me and you have to have totally different conversations. Tell it. Right? Yep. Like, we have to have the same conversation about her, you know, working twice as hard as a man to get just as much as a man. Absolutely. But... I don't have to tell my, I don't have to tell my daughter. Now you also have another strike against you Mm -hmm. because you're black. Right. Absolutely. And society's not going to view you in the same way as they view Lillian, my daughter. Right. And, um, so when you get pulled over by the cops, you make damn sure you comply. Do everything. Put your hands up. up. You, you, cause you're already, you're already not you're already at a disadvantage you're not the right color yeah, that sucks so bad yeah man. that sucks so basically bad. you're not the right color we living in yeah you're not the right color that's a thing you have to do mm-hmm. i hate that yeah i, I hate them I too hate for you. yeah uh you know i've got to tell 
you know, Lily and they, yeah, you know what, if you get pulled over, just, you know, put your hands on the steering wheel, show them your insurance and paperwork and blah, mm-hmm. blah, 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 and be on your way. It's like. <sighs> with me, yeah, I got to, with me, I got to have a, a special conversation. Uh, no, I mean, right, absolutely. A special conversation. That's something that she may not understand. And be like, why? Like, why? Like, you know, it's like, I, I don't, like, that's. It's terrible. It's terrible. Like. Yeah. Why? Like, why do I have to do that? Like, why? Like, what? What? What in time? And what? What happened in time? That it's like whatever, whatever that moment was in time back in the whatever, whatever day, whatever t- year it was, just fucked it up for everyone. Like yeah. it's, I mean, it, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like that little girl that got uh, uh, in McKinney that got uh, the pool party girl. Mm-hmm. The one that got, she just, that cop just flung her around. Yep. Like, I'm here to tell you. And that's been my daughter. Not my life. Right. Not, not my, not, I, I, I couldn't look, I couldn't sit here and look at my daughter and, and, and I didn't do anything. You crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Cop or not. Mm-mm. So you try, so you try to, so you try to tear down something that I built, that I created, right. like my struggle, the reason why I'm broke, you know what I'm saying? Like you know what I mean? The reason why every decision I make is a life decision is because of yeah, her. Exactly. Like go, like going to going to buy a pack of cigarettes is a life decision well, because of her. Yeah, exactly. It's a life decision <laughs> for me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And you gonna put your hands on her? You know what? I got ten bucks. I got, I got ten bucks for lunch. I could buy these cigarettes. But hey, she needs wipes. <laughs> it, it, yeah. It's a life decision. Right. And so you gonna, so you gonna feel like you can do what you wanna do to her and get no consequences just because you got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a badge. Stop it. Yeah. You messing yeah. with you? With, you mess. You, and a lot, and you know, and I'm here to tell you, like I've got, I've got some police officers that are friends. Mm-hmm. And I have none. I <laughs> probably good, <laughs> um, but uh, you know they're they're, they're great pe- people. Um, I've I've heard stories from more bad cops than I have good cops. Like, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> I worked. I used to I used to do security at clubs in Fort Worth, mm-hmm. and um, um, we had a particular cop. I'm not gonna name any names. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> You know, he, he treat he treat the kids that come in there like like total shit. Like I'm talking slamming their face into the into the cement, the you know, cuffing them and throwing them down for just minor stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like being drunk or selling drugs or something like that, right? Just minor, minor stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and kids were going to the hospital because of this dude. Now I know I know not all cops are bad. Absolutely right? not. Heck no they not. It is you some you good. Can't, you can't loop like if we start looping, if we start looping everybody in together, then, then we know better than anyone else. We're just as bad. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I bad. agree, hundred uh, percent. You got to take everything on an individual basis. Of course. But the the other problem with this is also lack of good cops coming out against the bad cops. Yeah. For for fear of repercussions for fear of retaliation uh you know the bro code or whatever you know fucked up little code they live by Mm -hmm. uh you know and i think once you know it it started this last round of of uh police violence people did start coming out a little more other police officers started coming out and saying hey this isn't cool you know this is not what we were taught this is not how we're supposed to act you know Whatever. And that's what a lot of people uh, struggle with, and and I'm, I'm yeah. glad they did that because that's a lot of that's what that's what a lot of people struggled with because they were like, okay, everybody is talking about it, but what about the your brothers and sisters in arms? Like, why, why, why are they good with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if, if, if something bad happened and nobody, it, like, it, so you said nobody speak up, that that automatically make people feel like all of y'all. Like in in yeah, some kind of way exactly. you in some kind of way you telling him that's okay. Right, absolutely. If you don't, I mean, yeah. You know, if you're silent, you're just as guilty as the person doing the act, right? Absolutely. Uh, that's just like uh, your friend robbed the bank, and then you in the car, 
You in the back seat, you're chilling. You want to jail?